So it's Tuesday the 30th of July 2024 and I'm going to give you a sneak peek on a little wedding present I'm making for my friends Jackie and Kevin. Their wedding is next week so by the time you see this film at it would have been handed over to them. So hopefully uh, the cover photo will be of them with the mosaic in their mitts. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what I've been doing. So, it is a little garden scene. It's for the garden. It's got a little helenium there. And I use broken crockery, obviously. And in fact, most of these pieces are Meekin plates, studio Meekin. Um, and there's a little bit of Kathy Winkle there. Now, the main thing I wanted to show you was the fact that I did it on Perspex. Because it's uh, four outside and um, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I can't use plywood clearly because it would... Uh, it would just disintegrate, wouldn't it? It'd be like a deck of cards after a few years. So I've done a couple of things. So I've I've made it on, I think it's 10 mil clear plastic, something like that. And I've put a hanging system through, just like you would um, uh, with backerboard, like you would with a T-nut. But instead I've used... Um, a uh, what's it called <laughs> one of them <laughs> you can see one of those uh, nuts I think it's a nut and then I've used a washer and a screw uh, and a d-ring so I am using the usual Rumar FlexiFix caulking adhesive because it's external grade so um, I've yet to peel off the plastic here and then obviously peel it off around the edging of this because I completely forgot to do that but never mind that gives it some protection for a little while um, what I'm hoping to do because it's going to look a bit messy at the back with all the tiling and the gluing and everything I'm going to see if I can find some UPVC paint or paint for plastic surfaces because this is obviously perspex um, to give it a, to give it a covering um, if I use normal paint it will just peel off so a UPVC paint is what I'm thinking of um, I don't think I could use a uh, gloss paint because I think that will peel off as well um, yeah so that's my thinking at the moment so, um, yeah, just a short film at really. Just a little close up there on, uh, on the nut there. Because actually, with these elements here, these are taller or higher than that there. So when I grout it, you won't see it. But if it needs to be fixed, I can easily chunk out the grout there. Because we could always re-grout, can we not? So I've been using porcelain and um, iridescent, I uh, don't know if you can see the, yeah, you can see the iridescence, iridescent tiles, square tiles, like vitreous tiles, which isn't my usual go-to, but I do like adding elements of that. I might even add a bit of glass around the edges. It has got a different height to it, but as you know, you just make sure that the grout bevels down to... Um, the next tessera so to speak so yeah so that's that's the work so far today it's just a little little couple of days project really for me it's 30 centimeters in diameter and uh, I'm hoping it's going to go pri pride of place on um, on her shed wall actually um, so I'm really pleased with it so far uh, it took some thinking figuring out what the what kind of nut and uh, screw system I needed. So that's why I wanted to show you. Just give you another look at that. And I didn't have to hack hacksaw um, the um, the screw part, which I was quite relieved about. And this is quite flush, so I'm very very relieved um, to uh, report back on that one. <laughs> 
So I'll just give you a little bit of a sunlight look there. See if you can see that. I'm going to add some more iridescence as well. Anyway, that's long enough. Five minutes, I reckon. Yabbling away. <laughs> so it's Caroline Jerrywala, Mango Mosaics, over and out. See you soon.